his computer and hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited you guys are on. So it's Monday, February 18th. This is our superstars, super class. Um, just want to recognize those who have turned in their weekly accomplishments. If I don't call out your name, raise your hand and say, oh, I did it too. Um, so week ending uh, February 17th, Jen Stearns Hall turned hers in, Vicki Steyerwalt, Joan Teal, Debbie Walder. Um, I know the week ending uh, February 10th, we had Arlene, Mary Ellen Grunther, Amy's turned hers in, Sarah Brooks, um, Jules has turned hers in. So very excited. You guys, that weekly, Stacey, did you turn yours in? Because I didn't, you did. Okay. So it's really important that you guys are doing those weekly accomplishments. I have a lot of unit members who do it the last Sunday of the month. So I only see them once a month, which that's perfectly fine. I understand. But <laughs> my dog. Um, but, you know, just make sure you're doing that because for tax purposes, it's a good communication with you and your director. It is... Um, you know, it, it does, it does everything. Okay. It just does everything. It just, I promise you, you're going to thank me on December 31st. Okay. Um, key winners so far this month, um, Vicki, Megan Harper, Diane Cassidy, Kathy Cropper, Joan Teal, they've all already earned their key jewelry. Give it up for them. And I know Sharice and I have too, but we want y'all to, oh, look, Joan, your daughter is back there. Ireland. Yes. Cheering for mommy. Yay. Okay, mommy's a rock star, Ireland. Okay, and then um, one of recognized people who are already star consultants, Kathy Crawford, um, Joan Teal, already a sapphire. You're gonna catch me this month, this this month, girl. I'm a diamond. What are you gonna hit this quarter? Pearl, pearl. Give me a thumbs up. All right. I love it when I set goals for y'all. Okay, and a lot of people on Target for Star. If you've got 600 to 800 in right now, you're on Target for Star. We've got some people who are super close. Marcia Stevens, Maureen O'Toole Coger, Amy Paz, super close. Suzanne Kusky, um, Jamie Bullard, super close. Jules is super close. So y'all finish your star. If you finish your star by the end of February, you get lots of recognition at Career Conference and you get a prize from your director. If I'm not your director, tell your director she owes you a prize for finishing Star Early. Okay? The big thumbs up. Keely, I know your director, and she will give you a prize because she's scared of me. Okay? And I will, I get her. Okay? All right. I get her. All right. So, um, real quick, we've been talking with the directors on the director's call, which is an hour before this. I've been talking to the directors a lot about what we call limiting beliefs. And I just want to touch on it real quick with you guys before I get into our series training for tonight. And do y'all know what limiting beliefs are? Dang, Jen, you got a date? You looking hot, girl. Okay, do y'all know, sorry, squirrel. Um, do y'all know what limiting beliefs are? You people look so good. I'm telling you, you showed up looking good tonight. Keely's got her dimples going on, love it. Okay, so, Limiting beliefs are the lies you tell yourself. No one wants to book with me. No one likes the product. No one's going to buy. I'm not good enough. I don't know how to open. I don't know how to close. I keep getting no's. Um, why isn't this working for me? L limiting beliefs. These are the lies you tell yourself. It's the space between your ears, which controls everything else around you. And so when we buy into, I'm just going to encapsulate an hour conversation I just had with the directors, but when we buy into limiting beliefs, the, the lies we tell ourselves, when we buy into those, it changes everything. So just think, if you were to turn that around and instead of saying, I'm not, I can't, I won't, they won't, what if you turned it around to, I'm an amazing booking machine. Everyone wants to be in my space. This is the best product in the world. People are cray cray if they don't want to buy it. People are insane not to want to hang out with me all the time. This is the best career opportunity in the world. If you would start turning those around in your head, do you see where that entire attitude, all that energy would shift? And I know a lot of y'all heard me talk a lot about, um, you know, the brain and the power of the brain and your energy goes up to eight feet around you and, you know, you can attract or you can 
push away, deflect. And we know we do it. Like if we don't feel like talking to somebody, can we not put off the kind of energy where nobody's going to talk to us? Oh yeah, you can put on the face. They're like, she's either mad or she's got gas. Either way, I'm staying away. So, hey, we also know how to put on the face like energy, power, authority, confidence, right? You put on the right lipstick and toss that hair around a little bit. You're having a bad hair day, that's what ponytails are for, or wigs. And you just, you can rock anything. It is the space between your ears that is going to dictate everything around you. So that's what limiting beliefs are. And I want to make sure you guys don't buy into those limiting beliefs. And remember, the more activity you have, the more good and the more negative you're going to have happen to you. You take the good and say, thank you. And you look at the negative and go, what can I learn from this? How can I tweak it? Maybe I should run this by my director. Maybe it, there, this happens all the time. This is why I also want you guys to think about running your ideas past your director or past someone who has experience in the business. And I was just telling the directors that between the six of us, we, we've got a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience and a lot of excitement. And we've all done quarter sales. We've all done quarter sharing. We've all driven Mary Kay cars. I mean, you know, we've all accomplished huge goals in this business. So we have the right to be able to teach you how to do it and make that fun. Hey, Dickie. So, I just want y'all to think about that. When those limiting beliefs come into your head, when you have that negative stuff happening to you, I want you to remember it's just a chapter, it's not the book. It's just a chapter, it's not the whole book, okay? My husband likes to say, he actually got on the phone one time years ago, we just got married with a consultant. She couldn't get a hold of me, so she talked to him. And he, he said, tell me, tell me what's going on. And I'm just thinking, if I had been in the room, I would have like squirted him with a water gun or something. He said, give me the phone. And she told him, and he said, let me tell you something. In the field of life, don't you think that's just one blade of grass? That was such a God thing that he talked to her. Because I would have spent hours on the phone with her just trying to counsel with her and trying to talk her off a cliff and all. He said, in the, in the field of life, that's just one blade of, that person who said no, that's one blade of grass. If you were gonna cross a field to go to a beautiful place that you were dying to be at, and, and you thought one blade of grass, if you step on that one blade of grass, you can't go. How limiting is that? What's one blade of grass? Step on the sucker, move on right? It's one blade of grass. That no, that's one blade of grass. That's one chapter. That is not the book. Okay. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about. Very important. Can't find my notes. There they are. Okay. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is seminar. Now, I know some of y'all are already saying, wait a minute. Shouldn't you be talking about career conference? Yes. Career conference is awesome. Career conference is coming. It's all over in touch. I want y'all to start thinking a little bit more ahead. Write this down. You can register for seminar on April 23rd. That's when registration opens. Seminar is July 18th through July 21st for Sapphire. We are Sapphire. There are four divisions in Mary Kay. We are Sapphire. Just remember, Sapphires are blue. So are Joanna's eyes, okay? Blue. Sapphire. We are Sapphire. That's when we go. Okay. We arrive, we want you to arrive on the 17th of July. Not the 18th, on the 17th. Why? Because you arrive, you check into the hotel, we all get together, we kind of let the family go and all that, and then the next morning we hit the ground running. So arrive on the 17th. If you leave on the 21st, which is fine, it's usually over around 12 to 1 the last day, it's called day three. Try not to fly out until after five o'clock. That gives you plenty of time to get back to the hotel, get your stuff, get to the airport and fly home, okay? So it's July 17th through July 21st. Now let me tell you what it's gonna cost you. Registration, if you go to Career Conference for seminar is 195. If you don't go to Career Conference, 
it's $225 for seminar. That's for four days, okay? Lunch, two days, some receptions, stuff like that. Um, if you break it down, once you get home from seminar, from July 26th to August 31st, the company gives you $140 retail credit on any order you place from July 26th through August 31st. So you getting, you're getting a rebate of $70 right there, okay? So that kind of offsets it a little bit for you mentally. Your flight to Dallas, you wanna to go to DFW. Some people fly into Love Field, just see whichever you wanna do, but I fly into DFW. Your hotel and your food that isn't covered at seminar is gonna be about $100 a day. So four days, that's about $400. So the, in your hotel, you'll room with one or two people. Um, as far as the hotel goes, we usually get a block of rooms from the company because of, of my position in the company. So when we get that block, then I send it to you guys. So don't register for your own hotel at seminar. We all stay in the same hotel. So basically, when you add all that up, it's about $850. Now, I want you to think about it. First, let's think about what you get out of seminar. Seminar is, it's like a Broadway show, a Baptist revival, a college education, and uh, a hurricane of Mary Kay all crammed into four days. It is the most amazing girlfriend time you will ever have. Your face will hurt, you're smiling so much. Your feet will hurt because you'll wear high heels the first day and then you'll figure out why Joanna said bring flats. It is so much fun and it's so much education and you will learn and see and believe way outside of the little box that you're in right now on our Zoom video. How do you pay for it? $850. How do you pay for it? Perfect start. Do 15 faces in a two week period and you will pay for seminar. 15 faces in a two week period and you will pay for seminar. You will at least get enough for the registration in your Mary Kay account, and then the residual activity and reorders from those 15 faces will pay for it before it's time to go. I'm telling you right now, I do this every year, it never fails. And the first year I went to seminar, our budget was 650. So that just shows you inflation. But it's about 850. And I'm trying to think day one and day two. And day, day one and day two, they'll, give, they'll serve you lunch. Then we'll have a unit awards dinner one night. And then there's a go-give reception one night. So we take good care of you. And when we get there, we usually have at least one person with a car. And so we run to the local grocery store and we get apples and bananas and stuff like that to eat in the morning, things like that. So it's fun. And it's all organized. I send you this breakdown. How many of y'all have seen my seminar breakdown sheet where it says, arrive, go to the hotel, <laughs> call Joanna, day zero, this is what you wear, this is where you go, this is where it is, this is how you get there. By the third day, y'all are going, does she think we're idiots? But on the day zero, zero, you're like, thank goodness I have this sheet, it tells me what to do. So you won't have to think about anything, okay? You really won't. We do everything for you. Your director will have a cute little goodie bag for you, lots of snacks, lots of treats, fun little things. All you do is you pack your clothes, you take a, a, one nice dress for the awards night, comfy shoes, and you have fun. You don't have to worry about impressing anybody. Everyone there has been recruited, okay? Okay, and you're not booking anybody. They all are their own consultant. All right, so seminar. Do we have any questions about seminar? What is it? Why should I go? Why is this so important? Y'all good? Who has been to seminar? Raise your hand. <coughs> See my little sore hand? Okay. Okay, real quick. I'm going to put Amy on the spot first. Just tell me one sentence of why someone should go to seminar. Real quick. I believe the education is phenomenal and the entertainment is wonderful. You can't beat it. 
Okay, very good. Last year, I don't know if y'all like The Greatest Showman. That's one of my favorite movies right now. But they started with the intro music to The Greatest Showman. That was pretty cool. Okay, who else has been? Cherise, get us, tell us why they should go to seminar. Um, basically, it's the big picture of what our company is really about. Um, Absolutely. Recognition, um, just the nationals, just being there to see the nationals and hearing them speak is amazing to me. I've missed one in 19 years, and I thought about y'all the whole time I <laughs> think we're gone. Made me crazy, never missed another one. Okay. I love that, the big picture, the big picture. Stacy, you've been. Why should someone go to seminar? Oh, I just think it's for the girlfriend time. I mean, you're surround like-minded people who, you know, you walk out of there and you're on such a high, it carries you for months. I love it. Okay. A lot of diversity here. Okay, Debbie, I'm looking at you. You're next. I like your hair. <laughs> Rita Tarbot tells us never to miss one, ever, ever. And I missed one and I was really down, so I won't miss another. Okay. All right. Because you're told to. I love that. Okay, Vicki, tell us. Just inspiring and motivating and educational. Okay. And a lot of fun. And a lot of fun. Okay, Joan. That's it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun, and you get a lot of good tips and motivation. Um, and so energetic and new products. And you usually have a big freebie of a new product. And yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Ireland. Okay, so listen to how much diversity we had there. The education, the girlfriend time, the big picture. Do you know what the biggest thing is to me when I go to leadership, career conference, and seminar? What hits me immediately, and I know it's going to hit me, but it still just astounds me. Can anybody guess what it is? It's the first thing I notice. Diversity diversity. We will see women of all shapes, all sizes, all ages, all colors, all nationalities. You'll see the women with the head wraps. You'll see the women who have had the whole thing on in the red dot. You'll see the women who have on the skin tight dress and the high heels and they're just working it. That would be me. Um, you will see, <laughs> you will see everything. You will see every shade. You will go into expo and you'll just see <clears throat> the the posters and the displays and everything. It's all ages, all colors, all nationalities. You know, com companies right now are constantly talking about diversity, diversity, diversity. Mary Kay had diversity 55 years ago. She, she never had any discrimination in her company. We have more colors for women of color than companies that are designed for women of color. We have more options for the Asian population and their skin tones and their skin challenges than the Japanese makeup and the K-pop stuff. We have more. We got it all. We even got stuff for pasty white girls. We got it all, you guys. And that's the first thing that hits me. And it does every time. And whoever's with me goes, it's hitting you. And I'm like, I, so much diversity. You'll see people in wheelchairs. You'll see guys. You'll see guys. You'll see a lot of guys. You'll see husbands, but you'll see guy consultants. And they're excited to be there. And they're cute. And they're fun. All right. Anyway, enough about seminar. If you have any questions about seminar, or how to plan for it, or how to pay for it, let me see if I can mute somebody, or anything like that, call me. Um, because if it's something you cannot do, and, and I've had, I'll tell you my biggest group that can't do it in the past. For the past two years, we've been the third or the fourth seminar. And so it goes right at the end of July or right the first week of August. Guess who can't go? Teachers, because they're in pre-planning. Guess what? We're the first seminar. No excuses for the teachers, okay? We are the first seminar. It is always the most fun seminar because corporate has so much energy. And sometimes they have bloopers. <laughs> things go wrong because we're like the test panel. And it's kind of fun to see things that happen. Right? Okay. Enough about seminar. Want to talk to you guys. Last week I talked to you guys about booking. And I want you all to get your questions ready because I am going to leave 
a uh, couple of minutes open for questions. Okay, we've got about six minutes. So um, I talked to y'all last week about bookings, and then I found a couple more um, sheets that I wanted to go over with you guys. These scripts are so old that they're not even in my computer. I typed them back in the days when I had a typewriter. Okay, these aren't even anywhere in my files. I guess I could scan it. I'm sure I could do something. But anyway, this is how old this script is, but it still works. Okay, so listen to this. Hi, Susie. This is Joanna Scheidt. I'm making my Mary Kay business calls today, and I have some incredible news for you. Do you have a quick minute? I always like to say one or two sentences and then ask a question. One or two sentences, ask a question. Right, Cherise? That's how you keep the conversation going. She just talked on the director's call about listen, asking questions and listening. Asking questions and listening. If someone says, oh my gosh, not right now. I'm like, got crazy. I've got kids everywhere. What time can I call you back? I've got some exciting news for you. Okay? Asking questions and listening. <clears throat> In honor and support of the fight against breast cancer, Mary Kay has asked me to involve some of my friends in a challenge. I've been asked to find 20 women who have two girlfriends who would love to look gorgeous, be pampered, and help contribute towards our Mary Kay Foundation, which spends millions of dollars every year in the fight against cancers that affect women. Is there any reason why you couldn't get together with just two girlfriends sometime in the next few days? It won't take more than 45 minutes to an hour. There's no obligation to purchase anything, but girlfriend, I dare you not to fall in love with this product. Who would you like to invite? Which is better for you, beginning of the week or end of the week? Morning, afternoon, evening. Now, if y'all work a J-O-B outside of your Mary Kay, and you're like, I can't just open up my schedule, or you've got certain days you do your business, you say, which is better for you? You know, you say, there are three, I have three time slots each week that I hold appointments, which is, don't tell them what those slots are. There are three time slots, I hold appointments each week, which is better for you, during the week, on the weekend, or Sunday afternoon, however you want to do it. But don't say Monday night, Wednesday night, or Saturday morning, because none of that will work, okay? Just say, there are three time slots I have during the week that hold appointments, beginning of the week, middle of the week, or the weekend, which is better for you? Uh, the weekend. Okay, great. I have openings on Saturday morning and Sunday afternoon, which is better for you? Sunday afternoon. Great. I have two and I have six, which is better for you? Two. Okay, would you like to share your appointment with three friends or up to six? Whichever you'd like to do is fine with me. Now, I don't talk that fast when I'm on the phone with them, but those are the options I give. Now, if they say, oh, I really don't want to do a party, I just, I just, no, I just want to come over just me. I just had someone do that. She said, can I come over Thursday? I have Thursday afternoon free, you know, when we finish at the church, because we have something on the church Thursday morning. I said, absolutely. How many people would you like to share your appointment with? She goes, well, none of my friends will be free after Bible study because they all are at work. And I go, really? You haven't made friends at Bible study? You could ask a couple of those girls. And she goes, I didn't even think about that. So sometimes you just have to plant those seeds. And kind of, you know, dig a little bit. When they say, well, I really don't know anybody. Really? I thought you had kids in school. Do you like your, do you like your son's teacher? Is she nice? Do you think she has a couple of friends? Maybe she wants to invite a couple of friends. Let's honor teachers. Y'all, there's always a way to find more people. Now, if they absolutely positively do not want to come with anyone else, then what I do is I have two Saturdays a month that I offer, this Saturday is one of them where I say, I'm doing individual people all at one time so we all make new friends. Does 10 o'clock work for you on Saturday morning? And that way you have the individuals come. And if you only have one person come, that's fine. That's all she wanted anyway. But if you have two come, now that's a double facial. If you have three, now it's a party. And you introduce them all to each other and you play a couple of games where they get to know each other. One of my favorite games to play is the ABC game. So you take um, each letter of the alphabet and you just put it on a little slip of paper. Oh, I forgot to do the on time drawing. My slips are right here. Um, okay, we'll do that in a second because I don't think anybody else has chimed on. So you put the letters of the alphabet on little slips of paper like that. So I'll make that Amy's name now. And you draw out like five letters. And when you draw out a letter, you go L. And they have to find something on their body or in their purse that begins with that letter. Simple. Yeah. Leg. I got a leg. Okay. You get L. Yay. 
I, Z, zipper, I got a zipper. Okay, great. And she gets that letter. Whoever has the most letters gets like a color card or something. But it's a great icebreaker to have people just kind of get to know each other. And you also, you want to see who's competitive. I like competitive people. Okay, all right. So some things that you can also say in, in putting together my professional portfolio, in uh, doing a donation for Mary Kay Foundation, in building my new look in the new year, I immediately thought of you because, so listen to this, you are so busy and meet so many different people who need pampering and love working for great causes. Y'all, that's a sincere compliment. You're so busy. You meet so many different people who need pampering and love working for great causes. Who do you know who could really use some pampering right now and loves to work for a great cause? You are new in town and would be able to meet some new friends. What's the objection? I'm new in town or I don't know anybody. You'll be able to meet some new friends. You are always thinking of others and now I want to treat you. Because this is something else I want to talk to you about. And this is in Mary Kay University, if you guys have done it. And I was actually talking to Jen Stearns Hall this weekend. And I said, you know, I, I think you ought to go back into Mary Kay University and review some of these things. Because I think sometimes the first time we do it, we do it, we take the test, we go on. We do it, we take, I just did it with MK University for directors. Now I'm going to actually go back and study it. Um, so they do give you some objections. So here are some common objections to bookings. I don't wear makeup. Have y'all ever heard that? I don't wear makeup. And you're looking at them and you can see the eyeliner and the lipstick and you're like, yeah, I can see you don't wear makeup, whatever. Okay, I don't have time right now. I'm allergic or I'm sensitive. I'm already using whatever brand, okay? Whatever objection they give me, what's the first thing you say? Great. Joan just said it, that's great. I don't wear makeup. That's great. Mary Kay is really about skincare. I can't wait to get your opinion on the skincare line. And if you want to dabble and just to dash out the door look, I can teach you how to do that. Is there any reason why you wouldn't want to get together sometime in the next two to three days? I have three spots open this week, which is better for you, beginning of the week, end of the week, or the weekend? Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon? Y'all, you think I've done this a lot? Okay. I really don't have the time now. I understand how that is. Women are wearing so many hats these days, but actually that's all the more reason to make an hour or so to pamper yourself. And anyway, busy women get things done. Let's do this. Let's set a tentative date. And if it ends up that you have to change it, I'll write it in pencil and we'll change it to another date. Y'all, one of the things that people will say is, let me talk to my friends and I'll get back to you. Don't do that. This is what you want to say. You want to say, you know what, Keely? I completely understand you wanting to check them first. But instead of you calling this one and then calling this one and then trying to figure this out, let's set a tentative date for maybe Sunday afternoon at 3. And when you talk to them, you can offer up that time and day to them. And if it doesn't work for anyone, then we can call them back with a different time and day. Do you think that might make a little more sense and be more efficient for you? Because I really, I don't want to take up a lot of your time or make this stressful. Do you see what I'm doing with my head right now? I do it if I'm on the phone. It's like, I, that, I know they can feel it, you know? Okay. I'm allergic or sensitive. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you to try our products. They are non-comedogenic fragrance-free, tested on sensitive skin. And what we can do is we can do it just from the chin down. See how you do, because this is the toughest part of your face. Or we can even just do on the inside of your elbow and see how you do. And then we'll let you play in a little dash out the door look. Is that good? Is there any reason why you can invite a couple of friends to share that appointment with you? Okay, I'm already using Brand X. That is awesome. Because you're already using a really good quality product, you will have a very high standard that we will have to meet in Mary Kay. And if we could do your product on one side and Mary Kay's on the other, I could have a great learning experience from the product you're using. Okay? I'm not trying to talk her out of product X. All she has to do is put Mary Kay on and look at the prices, and she's going to dump product X. Okay. 
I tried Mary Kay before and I didn't like it. It broke me out, whatever. How long ago was that? May I ask you, how long ago was that? Because if you have not tried Mary Kay in the last six months, you've never tried Mary Kay. We are constantly using new innovations. We are updating our products. We are updating our colors. We are on the cutting edge. The EU has the highest standards in the world of skincare products and we exceed the EU standards. Is there any reason why we couldn't get together and just let you try the products real quick, dash out the door look, will be done in 45 minutes to an hour. I won't take up a lot of your time. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna share your appointment, you can share it with up to three friends. I have room for four at my table. What am I doing with my head? All right, even if you're on the phone, you gotta be nodding. Okay, any other objections that y'all hear? Raise your hand, I'll unmute you. Debbie's always got good stuff. Ah, go ahead, girl. No, the one objection that I always seem to have difficulty is the one it's all natural and, you know, botanicals, you know, you've got other stuff in it, processed, all that stuff. Okay, all right, good, I like that. So, this is what I say. I'm so glad, start with a compliment. Debbie, I'm so glad that you're aware of what you're putting in your body and on your skin. I wanna tell you a little secret. The FDA has not ruled what is all natural. According to the FDA, my hair color is all natural and we know that ain't true. Because when you break it down to its most basic form, it is of nature, which is natural. And that's why the FDA won't touch ruling what exactly is all natural. So I just want you to be aware that when you're looking at products for your skin, your makeup, your clothing, your uh, body, what you're eating, be very aware of the labels. Mary Kay has, and I forget the number, it's like 1,300 something, I bet Jen Stearns Hall knows it, like 1,300 ingredients that we have eliminated from our products that have been deemed not safe. We are the first company to have done that. I have access on Mary Kay In Touch. Debbie, I have access to an ingredients list with all these long names and these scientific names. And I would love to sit down with you and show you how that program works. And we can figure out what products you really don't want to have on your skin, what ingredients, excuse me, what ingredients you really don't want to have on your skin. And we'll know what products to eliminate immediately. And I challenge you to find another company that will be that transparent with their ingredients. We are that transparent. Does that help? Pull up in touch on your phone or your iPad and show them, say, Here, here's all the ingredients. We, we are completely transparent. We hide nothing. If you know there's an ingredient you're allergic to, I put in that ingredient, it tells you every product that has that ingredient. If there's a product that you're having problems with, that you've ever tried and you have problems with, we can pull it up and see all the ingredients there. Okay, wait a minute, yeah, yes, what? Are there any companies that have products that quote unquote, are all natural? There's no such thing. You, there's no guidelines for that. Jen, you've done research on that, haven't you? A little bit. But like you said, there's no real parameters for it. Um, anyone can say it's all natural for the most part. It's kind of like I, I can make a cookie and do something that removes three calories from it, and I can, I can say this is the low-fat rendition of that cookie. It's educating your customers, yeah. All right, my other question, for instance, I've had people say, well, I don't need moisturizer, I just put coconut oil on my face. It's all natural. Okay, coconut oil is processed. <laughs> unless they are, unless they have a palm tree, Unless they have a pot tree in their backyard and they're cutting it down and they're draining it out and they're pouring it. <laughs> Coconut oil is processed. Um, then I would say, great, how's that working for you? Are there any issues with your skin that coconut oil is not addressing? Ask questions. Ask questions. Okay. Ask questions. 
and you're good at saying great. I've, I always hear you say great first. And I also, one of my favorite things that Debbie taught me to say is, is that everyone's entitled to a complimentary Mary Kay makeover. And when you say someone's entitled, they feel like they have FOMO, like, well, I'm entitled. I'm supposed to get this. I use that all the time, Debbie. You taught me that. You're entitled. Well, you're entitled to try our products. And if you decide they're not for you, that's fine. There's no obligation to purchase anything. But if they try Mary Kay next to their coconut oil, tell them to put coconut oil on one side and Mary Kay moisturizer on the other. And they'll notice when they do this, their hand doesn't slip off their face. <laughs> But I can tell you this, in the summer, if we're gonna be outside a lot, I put coconut oil in my hair, and it, and it is, coconut oil has to have some type of processing for it to go into the container. But it's hard to convince people of that. Okay. Have you had a lot of people say that, or just one or two? Yes, no, I've had more, nobody up here wears makeup. I know. And a lot of, I know, I know. And they, they use, all natural quote unquote products on their skin. Yeah. And look at them compared to you. Yeah. Y'all, I have visited Debbie up in Maine. It was freezing in May. And um, I can tell you her, the objections she has, they are, they are legit. Those women do not wear makeup. I felt like I, we just stopped into like a Dunkin' Donuts for coffee. And I think I had on more makeup and jewelry than everyone in that whole place, including the drag guy out in the parking lot. So, yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing. Who else? What are some other objections y'all had? See, you know why y'all don't have objections? Because you're not talking to enough people. If you talk to a lot of people, you're going to get more objections. I want you to make it your goal this week to get 10 objections to trying Mary Kay or booking a party or getting together with you for the career opportunity. 10 objections between now and next Monday. 10 and how you overcame them or if you could overcome them because if you're asking enough people you're going to get more objections right right if you're not asking anybody right it's like your business card huh i have a question who who's that oh jen okay. i feel like i'm playing hollywood squares <laughs> well it wasn't really an objection today i was doing um a glamour look with a friend and um, we were using the applicators to be sanitary <laughs> and she's really into makeup and so she knows her tools. Um, so we were using the applicators and it just, with the dark colors, it was just like slapping it on. It wasn't really working. So we ended up just, cause she's a friend, we ended up just going into my bathroom and grabbing my brushes mm -hmm. because I mean, she trusts that I don't have pink eye. <laughs> um, but what I was thinking was, I'm going to run into this a lot in this future party I have because a lot of the girls are glamour girls, mm -hmm. and I better not give those applicators to them. I'm going to need something. <laughs> Do you often use the Mary Kay brush set? Yes. Do you have one for like each guest? That is an excellent question. So when I do advance, I'm going to mute you, okay? Um, when I do advanced glamour makeup workshops, I encourage people to bring their brushes. I say, the disposable applicators, you're gonna hate them, please bring your brushes. If you don't have a brush set, I will sell them a brush set at a slight discount. Because y'all, our brushes are awesome, awesome. Now, you can go um, to Walmart, you can go on Groupon sometimes, you can go on Amazon and you can get the, like a whole bunch of blush brushes or a whole bunch of eye blending brushes but I'm telling you guys, if you just tell them to bring their brushes and then let them just feel our brushes, if you have one set that's just for display that they can feel, they're gonna wanna buy the brushes. And I sell it to them at a discount, I do. Yes, Debbie. I made the investment of buying six eyebrow brushes, six mineral brushes, six foundation brushes that I use As your demos. for demos and then just clean them. Yeah, and you can do that. But I will tell you, I, I, I did a glamour workshop two weeks ago and I told everybody to bring their brushes and they brought their brushes and then everybody there ended up buying my brushes. And you know what kills me guys is I'll go, okay, so before we get, before I talk to you about the cleanser, I wanna ask you something. How many of you could get excited about having your cleanser last 10 times longer, at least 10 times longer? 
before you even know that if you're going to buy it or not. You want it to make it t last 10 times longer. And I bring over the skin vigorate brush and I say, invest in a cleansing brush. How many of you have a cleansing brush at home? Invariably, almost everybody got raised their hand. I've got a Clarisonic, I got something off Amazon, I've got something. Great. Use your cleansing brush, whether it's Mary Kay or something inferior. I say that a lot. Um, whether it's Mary Kay or something inferior, use your cleansing brush. It will make your cleanser last 10 times longer. And if it's like Mary Kay and it comes with two heads, put one head by the sink and one head in the shower. And the one head in the shower is used for your microdermabrasion refine step. And the other one is used at your sink for your cleanser. And it'll make your refine last longer as well. So how many of y'all can get excited about saving money just by using the brush you already have in your bathroom? The funny thing is, so many of them buy the Mary Kay brush anyway. Do you know why? It's battery operated, doesn't require a charger, it has two speeds, it comes with two heads, and it's only 50. Do you know how much Clarisonic brushes cost? On sale, they're 175. Now there's some super cheap ones out there right now, like Walmart even has like a little brush. It, it's like going, y'all know I buy everything and try it, everything and try it. So just say, you know, whether it's Mary Kay or something inferior, you need to use your cleansing brush. It removes all those dead skin cells. It'll make your cleanser last longer. Information is power. I want to empower you. What other objections have y'all gotten before I close y'all out with your challenge? I'm writing your names on pieces of paper now. Amy won last week. Amy, tell them how excited you are about your prize you won. You're muted. I can't hear you. Wait, wait. Tell them, tell them what I sent you as your on-time gift. I got the new Eliminating um, Drops in the Silver Sands and the Golden Horizon, which I'm actually wearing the um, Silver Sands under here and highlighting down the nose. Oh, it's dark. We can't see it. Sorry. How's that? Okay. Hang on. I'm getting jealous. I love it. <laughs> But I'm glad you like it. I wrote your Thanks. name down on a piece of paper. Now I can't find it. There. Amy, it was I'm just the writing. A in the alphabet. It was the A. No, I got it right here. I got it right here. <laughs> okay, so we've got Amy, Stacy, Vicki, Joan, Jen, Keely, and Debbie. Who did I miss? Mom. Cherise. <laughs> Who is 2406098107? My mom. Oh. Got it. Okay. Now, I'm going to mix these together. Debbie, I want you to draw one out. Debbie, here, draw one out. Debbie, Debbie. Oh, you can't, you can't reach that far? I'm sorry. Arlene is our winner! Snaps to Arlene! You know I'm just going to send it to Amy and make her give it to her mom. Okay. <laughs> Very good. We got we got A's so far. We got A's two A's in a row. Jen won one week. Love it. Did you ever get your keychain? Yes. Do you love it? Yes. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, so this is your challenge this week. Your challenge this week is to get 10 objections. What is it going to take to get 10 objections? Somebody raise your hand and tell me what are you going to have to do at least, Stacy Swallows, at least 10 times to get 10 objections. You're going to have to talk to these ones. How many? 20, 10. I, At least 10. I if everybody gives you an objection, the, mo the least you're going to do is 10. Right? right? Okay. And, as, and, and ask them. Say, tell me, what makes you say that? It'll ring as soon as that's done. Okay. Who was that? Was that your husband or your husband? You're, okay. All right. So 10 objections. I want y'all to get 10. I want them to be hard. You know, if they give you a soft objection, say, oh, come on, you can come up with something better than that. Okay. And say, my director is looking for the 10 hardest objections ever received by a Mary Kay consultant. I'm sure Cherise has a few that she's heard too. Okay. Real quick. We're going to end tonight. What's your challenge? Show how many numbers? 10. Okay, so Sharice is going to tell y'all about her foot spa party. This is fun. I'm going to do this. Okay. Am I 
You are unmuted, darling. Okay. All right. Well, and I, I wanted to say something also about the um, people with the objections and excuses. Um, excuses are just lies that you and you tell yourself that nobody believes but you. <laughs> so that's my saying on that. Um, but if somebody says, you know, you give them those two options on the dates and the times, and they say, you know what, you say Tuesday, Thursday, go, you know what, I have Wednesday open. Don't say, okay, Wednesday will work. What you tell them, you know, we don't have anything open till the following Thursday. Will that work for you? You don't simplify it, you guys. You've gone to forever appointment. Is she cutting out for y'all? Cherise, you're cutting out. And you're frozen. I'm frozen. You're frozen. Give her a minute. At least she's frozen in a pretty place. Usually I'm frozen like this. You're still frozen. Ah, I wanted her to tell y'all how she did this. Sharice, call in. She disappeared. Okay, so she did this foot spa party. And they did uh, the foot cream, and they did satin hands on everybody's feet. They did their own feet. And it was like a 400 and something dollar party. And y'all know, if you, if you do a foot pampering party or something like that, then you still do the time-wise on the back of the hand and do, or do you want to be right with your skin or left behind, correct? So they're still experiencing the skincare as well. And then you book for follow-up facials. But yeah, she did a foot, I've never heard of somebody doing a foot spa party and it being $400. But that's thinking outside the box, outside the box. So let's do that. That was brilliant, just totally brilliant. She shared it on the director's call, but I think she must be having a little issue. Okay, so your challenge is 10 objections. As you're getting them, box or to box or them to me, text them to me, post them on our Facebook page, however you want to do it, because I want to see what y'all are running against. I want to see what your what objections you're hitting. And I'm hitting them too. So I, I mean I can tell you a couple I had this past week that I had to overcome. So they're out there, they're gonna happen. Be proactive, be prepared, be ready. Okay, everybody give me a thumbs up. Yay, did y'all learn anything tonight? Did you learn anything? Yes, did you learn enough to make it worth it to have to listen to me for 40 minutes? No, okay, well this call is over. Love you guys on three, we're all gonna say bye y'all. One, two, three, bye y'all.